my name is Kara, and today I'm going to go over a couple different math strategies that we can teach our kids using iPad apps. Now to do this, you don't actually need a lot of different iPads. You can do it with just one iPad. But this lesson is going to be about the count on strategy. For this, I'm going to use animals, um, which is a great free math app that I got. It. So I'm going to press play. And anytime I'm demoing, I've already added a here, but anytime I'm demoing, I always choose my teacher profile down at the bottom. And then um, Animals has uh, all of these different characters um, that basically are solving math problems in different ways. And your kids can watch these videos or you can just fast forward through them. Okay, and then there will also be little mini lessons that feature these characters. Today, we're just going to go ahead and get started right into the tool round. Okay, class. Now, we've been talking a lot about how to add two different numbers to Today, we're going to learn a nice shortcut strategy, okay? And that strategy is called count on, okay? But the way we've been doing this up until this point with counting all is when we press and we count four plus two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how we've been getting our answer. But there's actually a quicker and easier way to do it. So to do that, I'm going to practice with this count on tool, okay? And with this tool, you know what, I don't need to count that four again. I already know that that's four. I don't need to count one, two, three, four, because I know it. So I know that this is four, so I just need to count on two more. So I'm gonna count five, huh, and then what comes next? Thumb on your knee if you know what comes next. Six, right? So I'm gonna use this number line down here, and I'm gonna slide my finger across until I get to the number six, and then I'm gonna let go. And we were right, it is six. Okay, now for this one, three plus two. I don't need to count them all. I can go right to counting on. Hmm, I'm gonna start with that three, and I'm gonna think, what comes after three? Hmm. Four. And then everybody whisper to the person next to you, what number, number comes next? Okay, who's got it? Five. Let's slide our finger in the number line and then let go when we get to the number five. Okay, now today when you go off to your centers, we're going to play with animals in the centers and we're going to practice using this count on button every time. 